All right, you guys, hello, hello, and welcome back to another week of workout. If you are new here, my name is Katie. I am a NASM certified personal trainer, performance enhancement specialist, and corrective exercise specialist. I am also a body neutral personal trainer and an elite level power lifter. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Today I am starting week three of this off-season program, and I'm definitely feeling a lot better than I was week one. My body is finally adjusting to all the volume and just being back in the gym again after vacation. After week one, I was, oh, horrifically sore. I would literally touch any part of my body and be like, oh, but I'm feeling much better. I really didn't have much soreness last week. So I'm excited to hopefully keep that trend going this week and be able to hopefully either handle a little bit more load or just make the weights that I've been handling feel a little bit less heavy. Today I have a bench and squat day. I'm going to eat some banana bread and then we'll go get after it. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so I just hit 140 for 15 for my AMRAP. Last week I hit 140 for 12 and my butt was off the bench like every single rep. 140 for 15, that matches my rep count from my week one of this program. I did 135 for 15, so I'm actually super happy with that. I was not super happy with my butt on my top set of bench today at 160, but I'm moving more weight and it felt honestly a little bit of a lighter RPE than last week's 155. So I'm overall super friggin' happy with that. Bench is benching today. That's the win that I needed. Now I have to do some back down work. Let me see. Okay, I have to take 155 for back down sets of four. I can do that. Here we go. is done now I have to squat I have to do one top set of eight at either 290 or 295 that's insane <laughs> um, and then I have to do my minimal rest back down sets at I think it's like 265 maybe it's probably gonna be 260 or 265 um, hold on let me actually do the math 
If I do 295 for my top set, then I'm gonna be doing 260 for my back down sets of eight with minimal rest. Here we go. talk about that <sighs> okay moving on to accessories oh my god uh, dips pendulum squat and chest supported rows i think i'm gonna die here Good morning, it is training day two today. I have deadlifts and a long pause bench, I believe. Deadlifts and I are kind of butting heads right now a little bit. We're not the best of friends, but we're not the worst of friends. Hopefully I can get these to move okay today. I'm gonna get warming up and then we'll get into it. Let's do it.
Overall, I'm pretty happy with those deadlifts. On week one of this program, I loaded up 335, thinking that it would be my working weight at an RP7, and it was like a nine. <laughs> so I had to back down to 315 for my remaining three sets. So I'm super happy that I was able to stay at 335 today for all four sets. That is big. Really happy with that. My thumbs <laughs> hurt so bad. I have to remember to start packing tape in my bag. In powerlifting, you can't wear tape in competition, but you can totally train with it. So I need to do something to save my thumbs because my thumbs are not good right now. <laughs> now I have two long pause bench. I got to work up to one, I think it's 50. Yeah, 150 for my top set at an RP9. And then I got some back down work. Let's start chipping away at it. Okay, a slight overshoot and I cut the last like pause or two pretty short, but you know what? I'll take it. Now I have to do back down work. I have to do, I just read what I have to do. What do I have to do? Oh, I have to do minimal rest sets of five at 140 until it becomes an RP9. So here we go. <laughs> All right, you guys, hello. It is training day three today, my safety squat bar day. Our safety squat bar, the padding on it is so worn down. It's such an old bar that my right shoulder constantly feels bruised. Just my right one after using our safety squat bar. So I'm not loving that, but I do feel more confident every single week that I use the safety squat bar. So I'm not dreading this training day as much anymore. I'm either gonna take my top single at 305 again, the same weight that I did last week, but just clean it up a little bit, make it move a little bit faster. Or I might go up to 310 or 315 if everything is feeling like super light, but I kind of doubt that. <laughs> I already had my pre-workout banana bread. It's already almost one o'clock, so let's go get after it. Here we go. Give it to me like <laughs>
Okay, 245 did not move how I would have liked it to move. So I'm most likely, if not definitely, just going to match 305 today. So I'm going to take, what is this, two... I'm going to take 275 for a single, see how that feels, and then probably jump to 305 from there. Another training day done. I'm actually really happy with how 305 moved today. Obviously, I would love to have been able to go up to like 310 or 315, but the safety squat bar scares the shit out of me and I hate the safety squat bar. <laughs> I just don't like being bad at things. So I'm happy that I was able to match last week's single for like a slightly lighter RPE. Happy with that. The rest of that training day is just a big old pump day. So it's always a good one. I will see you guys next time for day four, an even bigger pump day. Bye. Good morning. Today is training day four. I have my bench and accessory day today. I have to photo press, JM press, dumbbell flat bench, snatch grip RDL, and leg extension. Hmm. Here we go. And it's
lot for you this week. Thank you as always for hanging out with me. This was a pretty good week of training. I'm really happy with my bench MRAP. I'm really happy with my deadlifts. I'm really happy with 295 for eight on my squats. This was a good week. Hopefully we can keep that good feeling rolling and I will see you next week. Bye.